Alright, Alpha Cool Light Tower, take one. <laughs> True intro. <laughs> What's up guys, you're watching Jace Two Cents, and Alpha Cool has once again sent me a pretty cool product. You know I like water cooling and I like, uh, I like different types of water cooling, especially new items, because water cooling has been around for a long time now, and it's really kind of been stale for a while, where all the companies are kind of producing the same thing. You've got your cylindrical res, and you've got your, you know, your D5 pumps, and you've got your multi-fitting radiators, and companies are really having a hard time figuring out how to bring it to the next level and really make it cool. And no pun intended, Alpha Cool has sent me their light tower reservoir. Now why do they call it the light tower? Well, a couple of reasons. As you can see right here, I've already taken it out of the box and I've already assembled it in like a little loop right here that I have put together using the Phobia DC-12 pump. Now why did we do this? What makes this reservoir unique, and by the way, this is what you get right here when you buy the light tower. You don't get the pump or the fittings or the, the tube or the little plate that I've mounted it to here. This is a Jay's creation. I did this. Ah, oh, yep, look at that. What you get here is a really high quality reservoir with this palm base on here that has lots of different mounting options. And if you look closely at this, you'll see that the pump is made it directly to the reservoir. And what that does is it allows you to have some real flexibility on where you can mount this because as you can, see, you can see it's small and it also has um, ports on the bottom and the top and they include this, as you can see, this acrylic port right here that has a spot in there for an, a high intensity LED, which means that you can shine it in the top, down, or in the bottom up and you can illuminate this reservoir, hence light tower. This is a really unique design in that not only does it mate up to some of the more common pumps on the market like your D5 and you've got the Alpha Cool um, and you've got a whole host of different adapters which I'll show you in a moment. The base on this, instead of being just one port pulling water in, you have a plate with lots and lots of little holes pulling water in which apparently is supposed to make bleeding faster and make pulling air bubbles into the system uh, no longer an issue. Now it's a really interesting design in that the water goes into the reservoir up through the middle, there's, a, there's an acrylic tube in there, it goes up through the middle and it's sealed on the top and it has holes all around it. So the water shoots out to the side against the side of the reservoir. So it makes it really cool in that it, uh, it kind of churns the water around in there and gives it a really cool look. Now, if you're wondering what fluid this is, by the way, this is just distilled water with some orange uh, Mayhem's dye in there. So it doesn't come with that. This is just what I put in there. But what it gives you is lots of flexibility because you have two co uh, G quarter uh, threads right here, uh, top and bottom. You've got one on the top. This could be used as a fill port. Um, the top obviously unscrews and I've got it on there really tight, so I'm not gonna actually unscrew that right now. And then on the bottom, you've got another quarter inch thread on, the, on there. And then on this side, you have a really big hole. And the reason why there's that really big hole is that's what allows us to mount pumps to it directly. And there's a lot of different adapters that are available. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna demonstrate how that works by using the included adapters here to demonstrate. Now, if you weren't gonna be mounting a pump directly to it, and this is the one that actually comes with it, uh, this plug screws directly into the side right here where the pump is mounted, and it's got a G one quarter thread in there so you can put a barb or a compression fitting or whatever and mount the res independently from the pump anywhere in the loop that you want. If you want to mount the pump directly to it, like the case of the Phobia here, you get, there are these different fittings available, and this is all palm material, which is a very high, high quality, self-lubricating plastic, uh, that have these inner O-rings. There's two O-rings inside these holes, and there's different size holes uh, to accommodate different pump diameters for whichever pump it is that you're trying to amount it to. So this one that I'm holding right here, 
would pump, would mount directly to like a, a D5 pump with the standard plastic housing, you know, where they have the, the nipple that points up and one that points out and they're threaded on the outside. This would screw on to the top of that pump. And then this piece goes into the side of the reservoir and you literally take those two pieces and push them together like that. You've now mated the two together. You've got two O-rings for a seal. And the reason why this is together before I did the review is I wanted to see if a, if a leak would form with this thing running. And I left it running for over a day, no leaks formed. It's been sitting here now for at least a week put together like this, no leaks. So I trust the O-ring fittings on this. They're really, really tight. So just push this together like that. So you'd have your pump here, your res there, and everything's together. It's a really cool design. Um, AlphaCool is really working on trying to make water cooling more fun, more custom. You can do that with the, the lighting effects on this. And as you can see, this is just what I came up with with the Fomia, D, Fomia, Fomia DC-12 pump plugged directly into the reservoir. Now, obviously, you have to be careful on where you mount it because you don't want to put undue stress on these two parts because they could just pull apart if you don't have them mounted and secured together tightly. So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, but other than that, it's a really cool res. I would like to see... A bigger reservoir because when you have a big loop like mine it makes it a lot easier for filling and bleeding to have a bigger reservoir they did say that other tubes are going to be available in different sizes for you to be able to customize it like that but if you're looking at putting together a water cooling loop and you want something custom that's high quality the machining on this is just perfect i mean it is perfectly square perfectly straight the acrylic is absolutely glass like there is no um, hazing on it. There is no scratches. The palm and the o-rings and everything fit perfectly. They've really stepped it up. It's absolutely gorgeous. So if you guys want to check out this reservoir, head down into the description and you'll see a link to AquaTuning's website. They distribute all over the world and you can just put in what country you're in and they'll let you know uh, whether or not they ship to your area and you can check it out right there on their website. So guys, this has been Jay's Two Cents checking out the light tower right here high quality product. I 100% recommend this for water cooling. Uh, it's very flexible and that's what you need when you do custom loops. You need flexibility because sometimes the cases don't give you the flexibility that you really need and want when doing a custom build. And rather than have to conform to the limitations of your case, this reservoir conforms to the limitations of your case which allows you more options. And that's what really makes water cooling fun is when you have control of all the routing and stuff and when you can take two components that are usually difficult to find the right placement for and making sure that everything's set up properly and it does it for you as a water cooler that's invaluable to me so guys check it out down in the description i'll see you guys next time on jay's two cents and as always if you like this video you know what to do with it if you're new around here i hope you stick around check out more of my videos and i'll see you guys next time in my next video which feels like it's going to be in just a couple of minutes see you next time